It's Dr. Murphy on August 12th. I want to help debunk this myth that so many of us suffer from anxiety and depression. Anxiety is just another word for the ups and downs of life. Depression is really 99% of the time grief. We're grieving, we're crying, we're, we feel badly because we're separated from those we love, either from early death, divorce, estrangement, from a job, from a pet, doesn't matter. And here's the evidence, all right? So today's, or rather this weekend's New York Times, readers share cultural comforts that got them through their grief. So wonderful stories about how games, art, books, movies, albums, uh, sports, all these wonderful gifts from God, I would say, help get us through our grief. Here, my wife and I and our oldest son, Dan, in June of 19. 83. That was just months after two of my sisters, I'm the third of 12, Michelle and Rita died in January of 1983 when they were in a car wreck on their way back to Notre Dame. But we see evidence of us smiling here uh, also in June, uh, four of my younger siblings who had also experienced that trauma. You know, we're, we're, God just heals us through all kinds of things, mostly connections with family and friends, but also through these other wonderful gifts, all right? Now, also, last weekend's New York Times, how Pixar helped change therapy. Inside Out and its sequel are a boon to mental health professionals and others who work with children and parents. That Pixar hit about core emotions like joy and sadness and this summer's blockbuster sequel, which focuses on anxiety, have been embraced by educators, counselors, therapists, and caregivers as an unparalleled tool to help people understand themselves. I'm, I've been stealing lines from the movie and quoting them to adults, not telling that I'm quoting, a psychologist says. All right, and also I'll share this story. Um, here we were in December of 1983, you know, 11 months after Michelle and Rita died, Omar had lived with us for about a year and a half, he was an Ethiopian refugee. But um, the story here is that when we were in the intense grieving, when I was just working my tail off as an intern in medicine, uh, Omar was at home watching Dallas with my wife and helping our son Dan learn to walk and talk. And it was just great stuff, great healing. And this reflects on another story Bigger ambitions and vices to match. Industry expands beyond the trading floor as it takes HBO's marquee Sunday night slot. And well, that reminds me of Dallas and many of the great dramas we watched uh, over the years. But again, uh, the psychiatric industrial complex, the therapy industrial complex has tried to convince us that, uh, oh, so many of us have anxiety and depression. No, we don't. <laughs>